what up what up less stuff more clarity stop comparing what a topic sometimes i type some in when i want to do a like i think of a live or i be in a situation and i type the title and then i go my whole day and then be getting ready to get back on facebook and then i'll see the title and be like oh yeah i wanted to talk about that when that particular energy was around what up latifah what up mr vine peace peace to the family yeah less stuff more clarity stop complaining let's do some king talk tonight um and maybe some mercury retrograde stuff but i don't know i ain't really in the mood to do a bunch of astrology stuff today i just want to get on here and just share what up miss raquel press two if you shared this i appreciate it also i'm coach kaya team taurus um atlanta georgia please identify yourself where you at Tiki Talks is in the building. If you got a website you want me to shout it out, go ahead and throw that bad boy up in there. What's up, Miss Lowe? Team Virgo in Chicago, I see you. What's up, Brick Bro? Ron is in the building. Abdul Cool Tafila Tat. Why by Zoom? Gamma Faragoon. Shalel Kaloon. I am in the love of all, and all love is in me. I am a part of all, and all is a part of me. And I am one with all, and all is one with me. And I can succeed as a part of all and fail as an individual. I can be all that I wish in all. As long as my wish is to stay in all, I am never alone. All is, I am, all can, I can, all does, I do. Let's get into it. What up, Tora? Demetrius Robinson is in the building. Team Libra ATL. Thank you, Evina, for sharing. Press two if you share the video. Um, I'm gonna take this one in pieces. So the first piece is less stuff, more clarity. We, and I can include myself in this. I'm I'm getting away from it, but I can speak about it because I'm a three five in the human design. So the things that I talk about, I'm pretty much living it. And if you're not sure. Please go check with my friend Tora, and you can give her $20, and she'll tell you all about Coach Kyrie. So, Tora, if they give you $20 and you want to tell them what a 3-5 is and how Kyrie get down, please let them know to come through. What up, Lori? Um, Kate, Brandon, Ola, less stuff, more clarity. As a society, we always think the answer is more stuff. And then we don't have clarity, like the hoarding thing. Have you ever seen one of them shows where they was talking about and they had to do an intervention because the person was hoarding so much? Stuff. It was only stuff. And then when somebody tried to come in and throw it out, they was just like, wait, wait. And they was like, you know, you got diapers in here that should have been trash or you got this other stuff. These bill, these lights are still on. This, These are bills from... You know, 2014, you don't still need these. You feel what I'm saying? And then they get attached to them. And they're like, wait a minute, but wait. But they have no clarity on their life or their direction or where they're going. So I'm going to turn this right into a conversation about metaphysics and spirituality. And comparing. I need more stuff. I got to have more, more decks of cards to read. I got to learn more styles of astrology. I got to have more candles. I got to have more things. I got to have more of this. And then somebody asks you a question. And it's just a simple question of like, can you give me some clarity on all the stuff you have? And then the answer is no. Carmen is in the building. What up, Deshauna D? What up, DeMar, uh, Desmarie Hopper? How you doing? I'm Coach Kyrie, Team Taurus, Atlanta, Georgia. Please identify yourself when you get on here and press 2 if you shared this video. Because you know somebody that's got too much stuff and not enough clarity. And then they're comparing all the time. But I ain't going to get to the comparing piece yet. If you don't have clarity on stuff, then you got too much stuff. It's really that easy. It's really that easy. Like even tools. What tool do you need? To build what it is that you desire. This is a question Kair has been asking myself. Most of us have the tools that we need to build what we desire. But you know what's got us jacked up? 
What up, Miss Monique? How you doing? Please uh, drop your team zodiac and what city and state you're representing. How do you reach the clarity? See roses on here. Do somebody want to come on here and get some coaching tonight? Anybody want to come on here and let's just talk about this this evening? Please holler at me. <laughs> I want to bring up and talk to somebody like one on one. Rose, I like her honesty because if you know that you need the clarity, you got too much stuff. And you're attached to it. And you suffer from FOMO. Who knows what FOMO is? Serena's in the building. Salute, salute, my sister. Ain't you supposed to be coming down here this weekend? Or were you just down here last weekend, but you ain't called me? Miss Nicole, how you feeling? Trey is in the building. Hey, Miss Monique in Long Beach. What up, Janet Marshall? How you feeling? Team Capricorn in Atlanta. How do I reach this clarity? How you know you ain't got it? Because you know you don't have it. Clarity is when you ain't got some. Then clarity means I know what to do with the stuff I got. Clarity is I'm absent of fear. FOMO stands for what? FOMO stands for fear of missing out. Team Taurus, too much stuff in the Bronx. How many of y'all think that you got too much stuff going on and not enough clarity? Press one. Press one or just say me. You got all these things going on. Please press two if you share this video. So if you got too much stuff going on and you share the video, you just type in 12. Yeah, thank you so much. Hey, Miss Bay, Miss Noriko, Luscious Bay. So I want more clarity and not more stuff. I thought more stuff was going to bring me more clarity. And I was confused because I didn't have, watch this word, Torah proficiency I didn't have proficiency with the stuff that I had so I couldn't have clarity when I got proficiency with the stuff I have then clarity comes and I can move I can move I was looking at this thing the other day about habits of billionaires and I think one of the dudes was like billionaires say no to a lot of stuff They'd be like, nope, 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 I'm Gucci, nope, nope. It doesn't mean that they're afraid of trying things, but they already being successful with the stuff that they have. I, fireside chat, whatever that is, thank you very much, I appreciate it, Trey, thank you. I see a lot of y'all know y'all got too much stuff. Thank y'all for all the tools, too, for y'all sharing it. What up, Jasana DeMarco? Peace to the family. Lisa Marie is in here. All my new folks. Chrissy McBride, what's up? It's your first time over here. What's up? What up, Vaughn? Team Clarity. That's what I want to be on. I want to be on Team Clarity. I don't want to be on Team I got all this stuff. Oh, look what I got. And as a Taurus, sun sign, which is my ego, the low side of Taurus is what? Hoarding. All of you have Taurus in your chart, though. I have Taurus in the ninth house. Doesn't mean that I have just because I got planets on there. So if you're a Virgo rising, Taurus rules your ninth house. You don't know what it means? Type in Taurus rules the ninth house. If you're a Taurus rising, then you have a Taurus personality. Hoarding is right in your face. If you're a Gemini, no, if you're an Aries rising, then Taurus rules your second house and so on and so forth. <laughs> Taurus said, I stay saying no. If I don't feel it, it's no for me, dog. And the retro is killing it. What do you mean, Rose? What do you mean the retro is killing it? Lots have many tools in the toolbox yet. Don't know how to look, use them. Deshaun D. Oh, my God. I don't want that to be me. I got a pretty decent proficiency of the tools I have in my box. But like right now, I probably could show you eight tarot decks that I have in this house and don't know how to do a tarot reading. I'm still just getting to know the major arcana. If Torah was to come to my house and then bring no cards, she'd have a field day. She wouldn't have to because of all the decks I got. It'd be spreads everywhere. But 
alas. But now I'm to the point where I want more clarity and less stuff. And guess what? One of the things that I'm even thinking about giving up. What up, Miss Robert? Siobhan Stanford is in the building. Because I want clarity, boy. I want it over everything else. If I haven't used it in two years, it's gone. Lori said, she said, I got Taurus in the fourth house with Jupiter in there. Expa explains my spending habits sometimes. Well, you like big houses for certain. And you don't care nothing about spending some money on it. Taurus, sun sign, cap rising. <laughs> Mine's in the fifth house. I hoard my talents and creative gifts. Um, Takesha Jones, what's up? I'm reading the comments now. I'm getting ready to come to what I want to give up. I want to give up some stuff, and I'm about to tell y'all what it is. Well, the communication is also some of my clarity can't be reached right now. I have two decks and don't know how to use them. My goodness. I feel you. What up, Mr. Barber? Bless up, Bruton. Peace and love, Takesha. Hey, Ms. Miller, how you doing? Ms. White. So check it out. Y'all know I love some astrology, right? But there's some decisions I got to make because I don't know any billionaire astrologers. I know that billionaires use astrology and they hire astrologers. But then I have to say, do I want to be an employee of a billionaire or do I want to be the billionaire doing the employing? I had to sit down with myself and be like, boy, you know you love astrology. You're going to be the first to. That's when you know you jacked up right there. You, you try to take all your stuff with you to the top. Sometimes everybody needs to write this down. Sometimes the stuff that you get is only supposed to take you but so far. The stuff that you have is only supposed to take you so far. Then you plant the seeds with some other folks. Let me say, for instance, my my baby uh, Keisha Dunstan is on here. KD. KD didn't know nothing about no 5% when I met her. She watched me fall in love with astrology. And then the other day, I seen her hitting the tarot cards, talking about Leo season like an aficionado. I feel like I can drop the mic and walk out the room because astrology is now in the hands of somebody that's proficient with their stuff. I see what Torah can do. What y'all still need me around for? So I want to build my business because in being an entrepreneur for all these years, I've learned a lot of business skills and how to build a business. But my main thing has been like doing readings, doing readings, doing readings, doing readings. And I need to move on to something else, to creating a business model that's going to really hold things and wealth and have money coming in when I'm not working. Because I don't want to keep trading hours for dollars. And I've been saying this for years and years and years and years and years, ever since cash flow quadrants, uh, rich dad, poor dad, all of that. Let me read some of y'all's comments. Um, I started giving up stuff. Clarity is more important. Absolutely. I got a sacred geometry deck I haven't used much. Preach. I love you. Tor, I love you more. I was told I was trying to keep too many plates spinning. All good plates, but not all for me to carry now. Good insight. Keisha Dunstan said, 100, my coach, been bad. The spinning plates, thank you, KD. The spinning plates, Team Libra's in the building. I had a very interesting reading with Libra's today. I probably This probably what incited this, my conversation with the Libra today, a client. Very insightful. I always get insightfulness from my clients because I'm supposed to help them and learn at the same time. And I want to create a business about, around helping people and learning at the same time. And it's just because I have so many, I'm a polymath. I got so many talents trying to choose one about where I'm going to be in the business is a little challenging for me. And the reasons why it's challenging that came up was kind of uh, revealing and a little maybe scary 
from even even the coach because I'm always talking about confidence and all 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 this stuff, and I was just like, wow, where did this come from? Because I got to be moving over to my wealth. Everybody, please type wealth real quick. I need to see 35 people type the word wealth. Give me my wealth. Me and my wealth. There's really no distance from where I'm at right now. The, this, the me here and the me with the wealth. There's no distance between. It's just me. Do I want to move and, and make the shift? Yeah, boy, I've been having some real interesting things going on over here with myself. So, when I... But I've realized that the comparing... Let me move to the comparing conversation. Not just... Not create my own product. I have to create my own business. And then you create a product inside of business. Wealth. Right. So, one of the things I realize is... I've been comparing too much. <sighs> Is my spirituality better than yours? Is my astrology game tighter than yours? Do I know more cute girls than you do? Do I know more truth than you do? Have I studied more with more masters than you have? What's my relationship look like versus your relationship? Can you can you be honest right now about some things that you're comparing too much of? What are we doing all this comparing for? Now everybody type compare question mark. Compare? Comparing will keep you limited with a lot of stuff. Because that's why you got a lot of stuff in the first place. Compare? Well, Darlene got that. I might need to get that. Let me get me one. Kiza got one. Let me get me one. Robin got one. Let me get one. Torres says, you need more conversations with me, cuz. I know we 9 and 0. Don't worry. Compare. Why do I have to keep comparing me and what I got with somebody else? Because that was our conditioning. Go to school. Learn get a degree, compete with somebody else. It's tough out here. The world ain't fair, but the world is what it is. The world ain't fair, but you don't have to compare. Oh, there go my rhyme. Natasha Williams is in the building. No, I don't blame the ego. Maybe a little bit, but only 30% of the population has a defined ego. This is another thing. I used to sometimes... When we when I want to be compared and I want to be looked at as better than somebody else, I got to get somebody else to compare me to someone else. So maybe I may speak about something that I really haven't done any research on and I don't have clarity on and I'm just sharing stuff. Like vegetarians be talking all this stuff and they ain't fact checking. Tony Robbins was on Mike Tyson's uh, hot boxing tonight and this joke almost died last week and he supposed to be this healthy vegetarian he's worth millions of dollars he said he has 53 companies he can afford the best health care and medical care of everything and the doctor shut him down two weeks ago and was like we rushing you to the emergency room because we got too much stuff and we don't have clarity, but he's still so busy trying to prove something about, oh, I'm going to help this many people. I'm going to help this many people. He says, I want to feed a billion people over a 10-year period. I want to do this. I want to do that. You ain't, what about the water prop? What about the water program in Flint, Michigan? Can you do something about that? If you could, if you could pledge that you want to feed a billion people around the world, why couldn't you do something about the people in Flint with the water? So we often get that stuff when we talk about ego. What up, Derek? They go champion Derek over there in St. Louis. Peace to the God. We talk about this. Oh, my ego this or my ego that. But we don't really, we really haven't done a lot of research in what ego is. We just have, like, we're repeating what other folks say, but you ain't went and looked at the statistics. So I don't necessarily like to 
put everything on a person's ego. This has happened. And Tori, you about to go get something to eat. Make sure you save me something. What's up, Miss Briscoe? How you feeling? Um, so we end up comparing, or we see something with somebody else got, and be like, I want that. Fifty Cent is like the. He's gonna keep getting pushed on Instagram and Twitter because he'll be talking about what what kind of car somebody else got. So now I got to go get a car. I got to go get this car because he's so busy comparing. What you feeling inside though? If there's going to be a comparison, it should be with where you are today with where you're going tomorrow. See, where I am today with where I am yesterday is kind of dangerous. So that's a slippery slope. But I want to compare me today with my best self tomorrow and then keep moving forward. As soon as I look back, I could get pulled and sucked back, sucked back. Bill Juan is in the building. What up, God? So what up, Stardust? Please press 2 if you share this video when you just got here. Also announce yourself what Team Zodiac and what city and state you represent. The ego is necessary sometimes is what Desmarie Hopper says. Listen, you need this much ego to get back home every day. Because you got to have some ego to feel good about yourself. It's when you let your ego take over and start running things. It's just as bad as when you let your mind take over and start running things. Because then your mind is the one who told you to get all this damn stuff. But then you ask your mind for some clarity. And what does your mind say? Let me process it. Hold on for a second. Let me process it. Every time I hear somebody talking about let me process it. Your mind is so sharp it can do all these calculations per second. And you need to go process something. Because your mind ain't supposed to be giving me no answer. It's supposed to come from the gut. But you're so busy comparing and collecting stuff that there's no clarity. My share tonight, fam, is less stuff, more clarity. Stop comparing. I don't care what you got. No more. I used to kind of care. Not. Hold on. I do care what you got. Ashley just came in here. I care what Ashley Cum Laude has because I want to see her succeed. I care what Cheryl has because I want to see Cheryl succeed. I care that what Trey has because I want to see Trey succeed. But I don't care what Trey got in order for me to compare where Trey is at to how I I am. Trey is slim and slim and trim. He got the defined arms. He got the uh, 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 when he. When he got on the muscle shirt, he got all these muscles sticking out. I want Trey to be healthy, so I care about that. But for me to look at Trey and be like, oh, I care so much, I need to compare. I need to be looking like Trey. No, I don't. No, 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 no. I know I got a little something around here around the waist and stuff like that, but that's that grown man. That's that grown man power. You see what I'm saying? Dane Diesel is in the building. Salute. Dane, please post your YouTube channel up. So um, the bit, what is that? The billionaire mind group. Corey Cage is in the building. Let it come from the gut, right? Now I'm not promoting big stomachs. I'm promoting drop your ass down there and get some sit ups. I'm promoting that too, but I want you to promote and some push ups. I love flat stomachs. I'm a. Hey, I'm I'm back. Listen, I'm with all weight classes. Me and Trey was having this conversation the other day. But my preference now is the flatter stomach. But it don't got to be washboard abs. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, them, them, big, them big black sisters, that's how I came up with. The biscuits and the cornbread and the thick thighs saves lives. I ain't never going away from that. But we all need to be healthy because we want to let the heart have room to move and stuff like that. But I don't, don't, don't lose weight or get into a, a try to move to another weight class because you're comparing yourself to what somebody else had. Oh, this was a good one right here. Today, my Libra, my Libra uh, client was so busy in a place I call Compareville that she thought relationships were one way. She had this whole Libra thing going on, but really she didn't know for fact that the people that she was looking at or comparing herself to what they had going on on the inside. Let's talk, can we talk about relationships for just a second? 
Let's talk about relationship for just a second. Team Virgo in Temple, Texas. I see you, Miss Harvin. Team Virgo, Syracuse, New York. Trey says, my newest motto is to be the best. It's be the best you. It's not about power of, of other, but powerful within ourselves. No competition, no comparison. Um, What up, Miss Lee? How you doing? Thanks for coming through. In relationships, this is the one that kills you right here. When you when you get relationship stuff, you ain't got no clarity in your own relationship. How you going to get your stuff figured out and you steady comparing what somebody else looked like in a relationship and they fronting. Most of these relationships are shams anyway. They're all fronting. They're not growing spiritually. They're not pushing one another. They're letting each other, they look the same way they looked five years ago or 10 years ago. And you women, I'm going to have to say y'all first because we men, we like things to change. That's why y'all say, oh, you men are cheating. D-Mac is in the building. Salute God. We men, we like to see things change. But a woman, she'd be like, well, I got security. You know, the house is here. Stop. I should, that, that, that should be my other video. Stop getting ready to die. All of y'all act like y'all want to be secured. So then you can just goof off the rest of your life. And then when you die, you can leave an insurance package to somebody. Marvin Cogdale is in the building. Salute. Fayetteville, 2-6, even though he out in Colorado. So when do you start saying this is an authentic relationship that I want to be in? Because I want to be in it, not what somebody else would think. Because the worst thing I hear about relationships, and this is people who got a stuff type relationship, they say, we're going to stay together for the kids. Why? We're going to stay together for the kids. For real, for real? So you're going to show the kids to stay in an uncomfortable situation longer than you want. When you're not satisfied, don't do anything about it. Don't move. You got stuff. You're afraid you're going to miss out of something. You're so scared of losing. I really can't deal with people who are just so scared of losing. You know why people are scared of losing? Because they don't have clarity. You know why you ain't got clarity? Because you got too much stuff. You know why you got so much stuff? Because you was comparing your situation to somebody else's and you was like, I need this. Walmart, that's all Walmart does. Walmart and Target just lets you do the comparing game. This is on sale. And if you find anybody who can beat our prices, let us know and we'll match it. That you just doing a whole, you live in a whole compare Libra type thing. But why? You don't have to, you don't have to keep going back and forth with all that. Ah, <sighs> Rose Kinsey, I really hate losing. You really hate losing what? Oh, you really, I hate taking an L. You say you hate taking an L, Rose, but. Are you, are you, a, what is the fear in losing? And anybody can answer this. I want Rose to answer, but if anybody wants to answer it, is that Tamara on here? Baby, you on my channel tonight? Hi. Comparison is useful if you are channeling it to see where within yourself you can expand and elevate. Envy instead of comparison is toxic. To oneself, and I feel that's where we tend to get it twisted. Comparison can be a powerful, can be powerful if you're comparing it to your self worth and checking yourself on your own bullshit. Girl, you better post your website. Drop your Instagram on there. Tamara Garcia, that's my, that's my, that's that's my Capricorn right there. But I, you know, I keep me some Zodiac girlfriends and some Zodiac homies, and they all fine and, and marvelous and got so many things popping. She's correct. She's adding on to the bill. I want y'all to add on to the bill. I can't even, what I can say to that. Let me read it again. Comparison is useful if you are channeling it to see where within yourself you can expand and elevate. She said take the comparison and go in. I said take the comparison and go in and forward, not in and backwards. She didn't say go backwards either. I like to compare my today self with my tomorrow self be like bro how can you get over there because if i start doing tomorrow what you think about that if i start saying well i'm gonna compare myself to my last week self 
And then I, because my anxiety could come in and I could be like, I don't think I'm pushing it enough. And then I start getting down or I could get the big head and be like, oh man, I'm so far past that. I don't even have to do nothing, to, do nothing else today. But I like what she says. Envy instead of comparison is toxic. Ooh. That's where you get the envy from. Sometimes when you compare with other people, you become envious and then you get more stuff and then you lack clarity. Ooh, she done put that one in there. What up, Deborah Wynn? Kids can't make a relationship work, period. <laughs> Desmarie out here slapping jokers. Bill Juan said, appreciate the loss. It's a lesson. Uh, Tamaris Garcia's is inner awakening on IG. Losses of growth. Ori Pelly, what up? Misha Lash. Thank you, everybody. Press 2 if you just got here, if you shared the video. If you share this on your page, somebody needs to see this message, please press 2 and identify yourself. Bill Juan, you didn't identify yourself. And Tamara, you didn't tell people your zodiac sign either and what city or state you represent. Evina says, fail just shows that you shows you what not to do. It's not you. Ooh! Evina, ooh! Stop owning so many damn failures. I seen it. I took the L. I learned from it. Now I'm moving. Switch it up to the uh, to the W. Let me take my L and switch it to the W and get my wins on. Sometimes you got to lose for a better game. Could be true. I'm not saying it's not true, but I'm not saying it's, it's definitely not 100% true. I want to win all the time. I think every situation is a win. Even when I ain't looking at it the way I want to look at it. I got some stuff on my plate right now about building. Tamara and Dana was over at my house earlier this year. Tamara, you remember when you and Dana was over here? And I was asking y'all questions about my business model. And y'all was helping me. I'm still going through that. I got some other stuff that's going to come up now. I think I got to revisit that. But it's, I didn't take action on some of the things that they helped me with. And helping me recognize some of my qualities in my own business. Right. But I took pictures of what we on that dry erase board that day. Heartbreak. A clenched fist can't receive something new. Holla. Hey, Deborah. Thank you, Miss Postal and Miss Wynn for sharing. Team Capricorn in Atlanta. There we go. There we go. Tamara says, I don't feel we ever lose. Comparison and competition is consumerism. Ooh. Move, to, move from consumers to creators. Come on, man. You gonna you gonna you gonna stun on them like that? My left hand is hurt, and I had to switch over. Um, Team Aries in Seattle, two of diamonds action. So, this is a good conversation right here. I gotta start doing a podcast, yo. But I need I don't need three other people. That's a thing too, though. Sometimes I compare. This is why I don't like comparing the past stuff. Let me t let me share with you, Tamara. You tell me what you think. Bill Juan, you too, and Evina. Some of my past is so victorious that I think if I switch speeds, I won't be as victorious as my past. So that's why I am hesitant to compare with my past. I want to compare with what's tomorrow coming. And then sometimes it's even intimidating to me because I'm like, bro, for you to outdo what you did today, you really got to bear down tomorrow. Like, I can do push-ups, but I don't really like doing push-ups. But I, when I drop down there and get started, they just fall out. I don't necessarily like walking or riding my bicycle. But when I start walking or I ride my bicycle, I just go on and on and on. Um, and I think it's maybe that microwave society or social media got me spoiled where I can have everything at my fingertips and I can call Uber. <laughs> but I do it anyway, and I got the strength to do it. I went up Stone Mountain the other day, so quick, walking. I was like, we're here already? It was very surprising to me that I was already at the top. And I was on the phone the whole time on a conference call, breathing heavy. Y'all can ask Bill Juan. But Tamara says, that feeling you have should be your force to just do it. She's so wise and sexy. Vaughn said he found her. I'm telling you, oh, Tamara, she eye candy too. When y'all go over there and follow, she got wisdom for for days, days. She dropping jewels every day. I don't know how she even get no work done because she's got so much. I think she got some a, a clone that's posting for her while she works. But she also has business models set up that work for her and make money, 
while she's exercising and living her best life and doing everything she's supposed to be doing. Pat down. Everything that she wants to do. Um, so, yeah, man. Watch out for the envy. Watch out for the commercialism. Because, you know, that's the other thing like Bill Wong said. You get too much stuff because you're a consumer. Because you're always eating, consuming, consuming, consuming. Getting started is the hardest part sometimes. What do you think stops you, uh, Raquel, from starting? Is it the fear? Is it fear of success or is it fear of failure? I think I'm, I need to see if somebody wrote a book called Fear of Success. Definitely need to conquer that joint. That's the point of life I desire to get to. Make money while I'm enjoying my life. Vaughn, I'll ask you, what's holding you up? What's holding you up from that point that you're making money while you're enjoying life? That's really what I want like for my business model. I want to help people get free, man, out of that cage of doing stuff you don't love doing. Oof. Funky. Um, I think that's all I got for y'all tonight. That's all I I think I'm just I'm emptying out. I said what I gotta say. Today is the fifth day. Is that the fifth day? What today's the 29th. Today's the fifth day of a of the moon cycle. I'd like to let you all know. I'm gonna be posting about this again. The new moon is phase three, and it's day seven of the cycle. The lunar cycle. So the new moon is not the new, not the beginning of a new cycle. So I just like you all to be aware of that. Um, what is uh, my moon magic course is out there for you all who want to like get some help on producing and knowing what time the moon really tells you you're in, what rituals you're doing. So tonight, one of my rituals is to watch a movie around wealth. Last night I watched one. Tonight I'm watching another one. But I really wanted to get on here and do this right here. If you're having a problems with your goals, if one of your goals is getting started, if one of your goals is writing, getting out there pushing, please go take my course, Coach K Class. It's 100% free. Free, free, free. You always want something for free. Um... Miss Hoop, Miss Hop, Miss Hooper, you gotta go chill with your empress before bed. Much respect. Yes, Evina, you do gotta holler at me. Um, the disappointing myself is that I feed off. That's not good. I have as I have as of lately been feeling better. Also, my environment is toxic. The question is why are you staying in a toxic environment? Um, Tamara got them wings on the money. Yes, baby, I agree one one million percent. But I do want to encourage everybody, CoachKClass.com is a site for my free goals writing class. The Moon Magic 28 is for the moon rituals and the, the entire formula for knowing what phase of the month we're in with the lunar calendar. It's way more important in your magic and stuff like that in your regular everyday relationships than you know from the outside looking in. Um, and then Coach K... Like Coach K Live is the Prosperity 365 course. And then I got to come up with a new name for my consultations because I'm moving away from doing only astrology consultations. Am I a dope astrologer? Hell yeah. But am I a dope businessman? Hell yes. So um, the consultations now, I want them to be more around business and entrepreneurialism. And of course, we always can talk about your spiritual destiny and things like that. But a lot of people like Tamara and Bill Juan and Evina, they call me for business matters. People don't know that people call me for business matters. If you've ever called me about some advice or some coaching for business and it worked or it was helpful, please press five right now. I just want to do a quick poll to see who on here has got who's talked to me about some business and I help their business. Um, Ashley, which class is this? The Coach Clay, Coach K class is the free one for the goal writing. Yes, it is. Hey, Michelle Sanders. Miss Raquel says, I'm less afraid of success, though. I'm starting to crave it. Crave wealth. Crave wealth. Crave wealth. And then you be craving what I'm craving. Yeah. Don King said, if you, if you can count it, you ain't got three. Right, so um, 
I see a couple of fives coming through about the business. Yeah. I, I'm an advisor, man. I'm a strategist. I'm the chief I'm I'm a chief strategy officer, bro. Sis, that's me. <laughs> okay. So um just DM me if y'all want to talk about some of that. But I just want to get that off my chest. Please get less stuff, get more clarity, stop comparing. Not being so envious and jealous and afraid that you're gonna lose some sh some stuff. What up, Monica Moni? Thanks for coming through. And that's about it for me tonight. On a scale of one to ten, how did this share help anybody? And what was the biggest thing that you took from it? What was the biggest thing you took from the share tonight? And on a scale of one to ten, ten being the highest, what would you rank this share on something that you can use immediately? Not next week. What can you use immediately? Um, I found you in peace. I'm going to always leave you in prayer. Definitely appreciate it. Just get a big inhale. And a book of Kijila Kimenka, Tatia Tezara, Kabel Rana, Ramcha Saidu, Tahara Nunara, Nagi Board, Ashe Yikadeku, Kabavad Shaman, Barkam Tyram Rakame, Tazika Taker, Tamid Gamlin, Kasin Kadosh, Badaru, Tufka, Nahelada Taker, Yikid Gehel, I'm Chapanez, or Craig, or Tushka Taker, Shavatanu Kabel, Ushma, Tazaka Tanu, your day, Alamot, Buruk Shem, Kovomakuto, Alam Vrayat. Clarity, me and Miata, hey baby. You welcome, Trey. Ashley said I got a seven. Appreciate that. Paul Squires, Dre, what up, God? Blessings, my brother. Bretta, Cheryl said ten. I appreciate it. Dre, you just getting on here? You gonna have to go back and carry play. Less stuff. I right, fam, that's me for the night. I appreciate it. Let me get back into my movie. Don't forget today's day five of a new lunar phase. Everything you said, I've been doing it lately. You just came on time for me. I can't thank you enough. I love you. I love you more. And I got a 15 out of a scale of 1 to 10. I appreciate that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Hi, right, fam. I'm going to get it to y'all in a minute. Peace. Team Leo is in the building. Happy day, Mia Miata. And all my Leos, my bag for not giving y'all a shot from the very beginning. With y'all's egos, I got to get over there and get y'all a holler. Peace, peace to all them. Cheryl says, stop comparing and collecting more stuff. As that does not always obtain clarity. More stuff can equal more confusion in my case. Telling you, boy, golly. Now, I'm not giving up none of the spiritual tools that I have, nor the business tools that I have. I just got to use them. I have more clarity on them and then use them. Get back. Back in stride again. What is it? Build the plan. Build the plan for wealth. Let my magical tools do the heavy lifting. And then nurture it as it grows. That's the tool. Right out the plan. Right out the plan. Let my magical tools do the heavy lifting. And then nurture it as it grows. Let it grow. A lot of y'all not letting your stuff grow. Stopping yourself from letting your stuff grow. Don't do that. All right, I'm a holler. Peace.